Hi everyone, it's Miss Frenner. I'm here to talk to you about your author's purpose project, which you will be using your personal silent reading book as inspiration for this project. We will also be using Google Sites as our platform for a newsletter or blog style project. So just to be clear, there will be videos in the future as to how to set up Google Sites and how to use uh, the different technology platforms we'll be using for this project. However, I want to focus on the directions of the project, especially particularly part one uh, for this uh, video. So you're going to use your cultivated knowledge of the author's purpose to construct three well-crafted articles for your Google Sites newsletter or blog. These three articles should represent the categories of the author's purpose to entertain, to inform, and to persuade, one article for each. So for part one, we are going to focus on article one, which is to entertain. So you are going to use your knowledge of your silent reading book to create a fictional blog style article that can be enjoyed by all ages of your fans. This article should be a minimum of 20 sentences include an introduction, body paragraphs, and a conclusion, have an eye-catching title, as well as a date and an author's name, which would be your name. This article should be typed in 12-point font, Times New Roman, and double-spaced. Include an image that represents the content of the article in a location that is, that is going to attract the reader's eye. Make sure to cite any information that is not originally your own idea, such as paraphrased information, quoted or summarized information, from your silent reading book so that proper credit is awarded to the book's author. So your options for your to entertain piece, which is part one of this project, option one is to write an investigation into the events that are occurring within your personal silent reading book, use specific details from the story to support your fictional investigation, use characters as witnesses for the investigation while explaining the events that have taken place so far in the story. Make sure to use citations for any information summarized, paraphrased, or quoted from the silent reading book. Option two is to write an interview of a character or characters from your silent reading book. Include key interview questions that help your reader to better understand the character or characters mentally, physically, and emotionally. Use a variety of interview questions that not only focus on the character or character's actions throughout the story, but also what they want to go on to accomplish. So remember, this is a fictional interpretation of the character and is to analyze what you predict might happen next in the story. So uh, several students have been reading a variety of different books in a variety of different genres. If neither of these two options fit your book, please talk to me and we will come up with a creative option together um, that still meets the expectations in option one and option two that you are analyzing your book, making predictions, and giving a thorough a summarization of your book so far through paraphrasing, quoting, and summarizing. So we can work on that together if neither of these options uh, meet your needs as far as the book that you've chosen. Also, several students have told me that they are reading multiple books, like they keep one at school and then they read one at home. You may pick mm -hmm. the silent reading book you would like to use for this project. So if you are in between books right now, or if you've just started a book and you want to use the book that you last finished, uh, that is perfectly fine. Just talk to me so that way we can come up with a game plan because I would really prefer that you use a book that you have either just finished or are working on currently, or if you are working on multiple books currently, you are picking one of the multiple books that you are reading. But I want it to be fresh in your mind so that way uh, we can work best with it as far as making predictions and connecting with the characters. Alrighty, so those are the directions for part one of the project. There will be a video going over part two and part three of this project as well. I would also like to pull up the rubric real quick and talk to you a little bit about the rubric and how this project will be graded. This is a 50 point project that is divided into multiple categories. Each of these different parts will also be graded uh, separately as far as completion. So part one, uh, as far as its due date, will be awarded 15 points for being completed on time and being completed correctly. So that would be part of your 50 points. Alrighty, so as we look at our different categories, we have ideas and explanations related to the stories, which is a 15 point category. In order to receive the highest amount of points, which is 15 points, 
Your articles must contain a clear and complex narrative. At least three of its ideas and explanations are insightful, thorough, convincing, varied in strategy, and strongly supported by compelling evidence from your story. As far as organization and project directions, this is also a 15-point category. Articles have a clear introduction, body, and conclusion with topic sentences. Articles use appropriate transitions between and within paragraphs for consistently clear, smooth, and logical relations among ideas. Now, obviously, I have it split into different point categories based on how you do uh, with your writing. So in order to get the highest points, you have to meet the criteria that I just read off. Grammar, mechanics, and MLA formatting is 10 points. I'm not going to go through um, the little bit that I put in there. I feel like it is very straightforward. Um, in order to get the highest amount of points, there should be no errors or they are pretty much rare and far between. Um, MLA formatting, I would be happy to give you an example of what MLA formatting looks for articles if you are having issues with MLA formatting. However, um, I do list off in the directions and I've already said it twice as far as font size, double spacing, font style. Alrighty, and then lastly we have our five point categories which is style and cleanliness and class time and collaboration. So as far as five points for style and cleanliness, it is a pleasure to read, graceful, uncluttered, rich, and vivid, uses rhetorical and stylistic devices to the writer's advantage. So it needs to be engaging and enjoyable to read and flow well in order to get style and cleanliness. Class time and collaboration. Students use class time efficiently and check that they are staying on schedule based upon the teacher's daily checklist. So just like I was saying before, there will be uh, a chunking of this project. We are going to be working on part one with this video and it will have a set due date for part one. So in order to be receiving the class time and collaboration, you need to meet those expectations to get those five points. So once again, the project is going to be worth 50 points. There will be a check on the due dates for turning in the different parts. So please make sure that you are staying up to date as far as when the different parts are due and I will I'll remind you throughout class. Alrighty guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I would be happy to answer any questions that you have, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!